Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Manila Cathedral. Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. <clears throat> o Lord, hear my voice, for I have called to you. Be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of Christ's love. Let us call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, he and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, Please stay here. The Lord has sent me on to the Jordan. As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you. Elisha replied. And so the two went on together. Fifty of the guild prophets followed. And when the two stopped at the Jordan, they stood facing them at a distance. Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water which divided, and both crossed over on dry ground. When they had crossed over, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask for whatever I may do for you before I am taken from you. Elisha answered, May I receive a double portion of your spirit? You have asked something that is not easy, Elijah replied. Still, if you see me taken up from you, your wish will be granted, otherwise not. As they walked on conversing, a flaming chariot and flaming horses came between them, and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. When Elisha saw it happen, he cried out, My father, my father, Israel's chariots and drivers. But when he, he could no longer see him, Elisha gripped his own garment and tore it in two. Then he picked up Elijah's mantle that had fallen from him and went back and stood at the bank of the Jordan. Wielding the mantle that had fallen from Elijah, Elisha struck the water in his turn and said, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? When Elisha struck the water, it divided and he crossed over. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. How great is the goodness, O Lord, which you have in store for those who fear you, and which toward those who take refuge in you, you show in the sight of the children of men. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. You hide them in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. You screen them within your abode from the strife of tongues. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. Love the Lord, all you his faithful ones. The Lord keeps those who are constant, but more than requites those who act proudly. Let your hearts take comfort, all who hope in the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. 
when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret. And your Father, who sees in secret, will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face so that you may not appear to others to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden. And your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, Three times in our gospel today did Jesus say that our God is a God who sees in secret. Our God is a God who sees what is hidden. And this is a very good reminder to all of us. Our God sees everything. He can read what is in your mind. He can see your intent, the intentions of your heart. He knows your deepest secrets. We cannot hide anything from Him. Napakagandang paalaala nito sa ating lahat na nakikita ng Diyos ang lahat. Kahit na yung pinakatatago-tago nating lihim, nakikita niya sapagkat wala tayong maitatago sa Diyos. There may be times when we do not feel and we do not see God in our lives, but that does not mean that He no longer sees us. Our first reading today is about the transition from the prophet Elijah to the prophet Elisha the handing over of the mission of being a prophet for the people of God from Elijah to Elisha. And towards the end of our first reading, after Elijah was taken up to heaven, Elisha asked, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? He was looking for God. And even though he did not see God, God made himself felt. There are many times in our lives when we do not see God, but that does not mean that he no longer sees us. Even if we do not see God, he still looks at us. He still sees us. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a very good reminder for many times we forget this truth. Many times we fool ourselves that there is a place that God could not reach or there is a moment, there is a time that God does not pay attention. But the truth is there is no place and there is no moment that escapes God. Pinaniniwala natin ng ating sarili na baka may mga pagkakataon na hindi nakatingin ng Diyos o may mga lugar na hindi kayang abutin ng tanaw ng Diyos. At yan, pinaniniwala natin ng ating sarili, niloloko natin ng ating sarili na may mga bagay na kaya nating itago sa Diyos. Minsan, iniisip pa natin na 
Oo, may mga bagay na pwede tayong itago sa ibang tao. May mga bagay din na nagbubulag-bulagan tayo at iniisip natin, kaya ko rin itago yan sa sarili ko. Pero, wag natin kakalimutan, maitago man natin sa ibang tao, mailihim man natin maging sa ating sarili, pero ang Diyos, nakikita pa rin yan. Alam ng Diyos ang lahat. Nakikita ng Diyos ang lahat. But this truth, my dear brothers and sisters, should not make us afraid. Because God is looking at us not to police us. Ang pagtingin ng Diyos ay hindi pagtingin na parang nakabantay siya para hulihin tayo sa ating pagkakamali. Ang pagtingin ng Diyos ay hindi pagtingin na kapag nagkamali tayo at nahuli niya, ikinatutuwa niya dahil nagkamali tayo at meron siyang dahilan para parusahan tayo. When God looks at us, He looks at us as a father. He looks at us with compassion, with mercy, with concern, and with love. Ang paningin ng Diyos ay paningin ng isang amang kumakalinga, nagmamahal, at may habag para sa atin. We should really be thankful that God sees everything and God looks at us always. Kasi sa isang saglit na hindi tayo tingnan ng Panginoon, sa isang saglit na mawala ang tingin ng Diyos sa atin, baka katapusan na natin. Ang pagtingin ng Diyos, ang pagkalinga ng Diyos, ang kanyang pagsubaybay sa atin ay kanyang pagmamahal. My dear brothers and sisters, let us always be reminded of that. God knows everything. God sees everything. And God looks at us with love 24-7. But I think the question is, if God sees everything, if God knows everything, and as God looks at you, as God looks at you and how you live your life, do you think He is happy at what He sees? Let us pray today to the God of truth and love for truthfulness and sincerity in the church and in the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may take to heart the task and the mission of renewal so that Christ may be clearly perceived by all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that priests and religious may be assiduous proclaimers of the gospel through their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That civic and community leaders may be sincere and unselfish in their effort to bring justice, dignity, and unity to the people they are called to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who find life burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our pray prayer. That the dead may enjoy God's everlasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us also remember the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, help us to love and to serve you in spirit and truth through Jesus who is our way to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who with the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almight and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. 
together with Francis R. Pope and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Holy Father, keep in your name those you have given me, that they may be one as we are one, says the Lord. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. We wish to thank all of you for joining us in our Mass this morning. Thank you also to all the support and assistance you are sending for our mission. And we wish to remind you that since today is Wednesday, we shall again have our healing rosary for the world this evening at 9 o'clock. And our rosary will be led uh, by the Archbishop of uh, Cotabato, uh, His Excellency Most Reverend Angelito Lampon, the Archbishop of Cotabato. And together with him will be Cardinal Orlando Quevedo, the Archbishop Emeritus of Cotabato. Kaya ang ating pong, uh, pananalangin ng rosaryo mamayang gabi ay uh, manggagaling at uh, pamumunuan mula sa Mindanao, sa Cotabato. So we once again invite you to gather as a family and together with our brothers and sisters from all parts of the country and uh, the other parts of the world, we invite you to pray the rosary for the world and for the end of this pandemic. That will be tonight at 9 o'clock. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Let us now ask the maternal intercession of our Blessed Virgin Mary as we pray the Memorare. Remember, O Most Gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you do I come, before you I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate. Despise not my petitions, but in your mercy, Hear and answer me. Amen.